So iron ore. Iron ore remains our challenge, and I'll talk about our options. So we have a cost plus arrangement with Kumba, where we are entitled to take six and a half million tons of iron ore per annum, which would be our requirement, but it's not take or pay. But we do, a year in advance, have to give a commitment of how much of that iron ore we're going to take. And we do, every quarter, have an ability to true it up within 5 or 10%. And so this relationship obviously goes back to the ISCO days. And this relationship is important for South Africa because we are a beneficiator of iron ore. We take iron ore and we beneficiate it and we add 26 billion rand to the GDP of the country by doing that. Our options are we renegotiate this price or we import iron ore. We're in a very weak position, um, but it, it's not sustainable. I, I would think what would worry Kumba is if they gave us a price decrease would we then just make sure our prices don't change? So we start that just transferring profit from them to us. That would be the concern for me because Kumba uh, are obligated in terms of their mining license and obligated in terms of the agreement to supply us with iron ore. That's the obligation. So I think Kumba is a, a proudly South African company. I think they live here, they breathe here like the rest of us. And so the, the discussion that needs to be with Kumba is if you give us relief on the iron ore price, we can give relief on the steel price with tariffs to protect us against the Chinese. And, and then that's a sustainable fair price model. That's what we say. There's a lot of pressure on us to reach a fair pricing model, which we believe in. There's a lot of pressure on us to drop the price of steel, even if you get import tariffs. This cost is so significant to us, it's virtually impossible to drop your price further. So we need relief from it. Our supply of iron ore comes from both the Sishan Mine and Top of Zimbi. Uh, so we don't have a security of supply issue because they've announced the closure of Taba. What we do have is a belief from our side that Taba is salvageable. And uh, we are working with the Department of Mineral Resources and we will work with Kumba to see if this mine can be saved. Because yes, maybe it's not a tier one Anglo-American mine, but that doesn't mean you can't have a profitable mine with junior miners, with an offtake from us, and save the jobs.